Hello everyone, welcome to another very exciting tutorial. Today we're going to kickstart our tutorial series on how to create parallax effect. So today I'm going to show you how you can create uh, this kind of effect. So as uh, soon as you try scrolling down, you'll see you're going to get this very nice kind of fixed position backgrounds, as you can see. Uh, the next tutorial I'm going to show you how you can actually, so in this, the, the first, uh, we, we're not going to use any JavaScript. But for the second tutorial, which is uh, potentially coming tomorrow, you can see that the moment I start scrolling, you will see that you get this different kind of speed on the uh, divs that have these background images. So it's a pretty cool and neat uh, sort of uh, effect that you can use in your projects and websites. Then I took a look at some of the other websites that have some cool uh, effect so as soon as i start scrolling you know up and down it's going to switch to the next section or the previous section and it has some sort of a you know animation on it which is pretty cool the other website i found out melania-f so if you try scrolling you can see that the objects in the page actually um, scroll uh, with a different speed as you can see it's pretty cool so depending on the position of the you know the scroll uh, or the amount of the scroll and the position of each elements you can see that you see some cool sort of effects the other website that i found was a website that was uh, introduced to me by one of our fans he asked me if we can have a tutorial on how to create this kind of effects as you can see that this box kind of has this uh, rotation effect and then other elements in the page have some sort of a animation on it and then obviously tesla website uh, is also one of those cool you know websites so this is uh, you if i refresh the page you'll see that it has some cool animation effects that you can see and then when you scroll down it starts having some more animations so i hope you are already pumped up uh, on these tutorial series and uh, let's get started if you haven't subscribed to the channel please go ahead and uh, you know smash that subscribe button and don't forget to click on the bell uh, icon so that you get notified on the next uh, uh, tutorial so let's get started and create today let's create this cool effect so i'm going to go uh, in the kotus.com and front end and our online code editor what i'm going to do i'm going to create a main and then within that i'm going to create five sections right so i set five but i uh, set enter four so we have now four sections uh i'm going to maybe go in the first one and take the the demo that we have and take the text the lorem ipsum text and inside the let's say we want to have the images on the second child and on the fourth child so here what i'm going to do inside the ones that have text i'm going to add a div so let's add div and paste the text over here the second section will have our image as the background the third one i'm going to add the div and paste it so this text is just a placeholder text you can add anything you want any content you want um, the fourth one is gonna have our image and the fifth one i'm going to do the same thing now let's go ahead and style this a little bit so i have my section so i'm going to say height maybe let's put 400 pixel some of the times i have seen people put the whole width of the of whole for whole height of the window so you can go ahead and also set it by 100 vh which is the whole height of the window but for now let's just say 400 pixel and then uh, let's set the position to be relative and here i know that the section has div inside it i would set the position to be absolute left 50 percent and height 50 percent i'm trying to center the div transform transform translate minus 50 percent and minus 50 percent so now you can see that Let's see this shouldn't be height but top 
So now you can see that within our divs, within our sections, so if I go ahead and give it the border bottom one pixel solid EEE, you can see this line over here, so the text is kind of centered or the div with the text is now centered. The second one will have our image as a background, the third one is also a text and the fourth one we're going to have our image. So the next thing I want to do is uh, go ahead and take two images. I already have these images over here so I'm going to take the first one. So here I know that my first uh, section with uh, so let's add class maybe parallax and also for the second Parallax. So I know that the second parallax, so I can easily go ahead and denote it in my CSS by saying section with the class parallax, but nth child second. And then I know that I also have a nth child fourth, as we decided. So here I'm just going to set the background. Uh, image to have a URL of this right so now you can see that we have the image over here and I'm going to go and take the other image you can choose any image as long as you know the aspect ratio of the image and it's large enough you can use it uh, so I'm just gonna say background image URL and then paste that one as well so now we have this image as well. So now here I'm just going to say the sections with class parallax. So I'm going to apply some styles that affect both of these. So let's say background um, position to be center. So now you can see that it kind of centered the image within the backgrounds that we have. So right now when I scroll nothing happens as you can see. Now what I can do is set the, this is the trick, so I set the background attachment to be fixed, right? So now what happened was that now if I try start scrolling you'll see that it actually sets the backgrounds to have position fixed as if they are fixed on the page and you don't see them go up with the amount of scroll. So as you could see, you can easily apply a simple parallax effect or as you know, sometimes they say semi parallax effect, it's not really a parallax. I mean, to me it is because the position, even though there is zero. So for example, if you take a look at the tutorial that comes tomorrow uh, or the next tutorial, you can see that it actually has some sort of a parallax effect. So the image here goes ahead with a different kind of a speed as the other as compared to the other elements in the page, which are these sections, right? Which is a cool effect. But also this one moves, but with like the speed zero, right? It just doesn't change the doesn't change the speed. So it's gonna be all almost fixed or basically fixed on the page. So yeah, this is the simplest case that you can apply some sort of a cool effect to your website. But bear in mind, these, uh, this effect has some limitations, right? So for example, many times people tend to use background uh, position, not background position, but background size to be cover. So what happens is that even though it worked now, if I go ahead and make it smaller, you can see that since we applied the background attachment fixed, it doesn't really have the effect of the cover if I remove this. So if I remove this, now you can see that it actually tried to put the whole image uh, sort of cropped within the area of the image. So you can see that you can see uh, the image a little bit better now. But as soon as, soon as I add this background, uh, background um, attachment, attachment fixed you'll see that the aspect ratio changes and the reason is because when we set the background attachment fixed it's as if we set the background position to be fixed on uh, some uh, sort of the position to be fixed on a div which means that it brings it out of the flow of the page and it looks at it as if you know it's a uh, part of the body 
or the HTML. So it doesn't have any relativity to the next or the previous elements. I mean, even though it looks good and all right right now, it happens that you use an image and you set the background size to be cover and you suddenly don't see the effect that you expected. So right now, if I remove this fixed, see the change right now. Now you can see the whole image, which might be, you know, the preferred sort of view of this image for you. And as soon as, so right now we don't, we're not going to have that effect. And it's as if like you see the images as a uh, sort of the whole of the image. But the moment you add this background fixed, you will see that it doesn't really care about the background size cover. It actually does, but it doesn't uh, consider the background coverage, co uh, cover uh, from the aspect of the element, which is this one that is in, but it actually makes it uh, sort of cover based on the whole uh, area of the window. So just you need to make sure that you understand that when you play with this. The second limitation is that this effect doesn't really work on the mobile phone, right? So that's also very important to consider. So if you want a quick sort of parallax effect and you only care about the desktop, so your website is only uh, viewable on desktop, you can go ahead and use the background attachment fix. But if you know you want to have the parallax effect on you know your mobile uh, on the web on your website uh, when it's viewed on a mobile phone you don't really want to use this effect and i recommend you watch the tutorial tomorrow because this one will work on the mobile as well which is a pretty cool effect so yeah i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i'm just gonna put the link to this demo as well as the prototype that i created in the description section if you have any comments or any concerns go ahead and please put it in the comment section and I wish you the best day and night and see you next time. Goodbye.